Welcome back to the railroad, everyone. Today, we will be adding a Revolution Train Engineer base station with sound to our FA and FB Army engines. In the process, we will be removing a smaller receiver and soundboard. Also, we will create a battery slash electronics car. Today, we're going to rig a uh FA and FB unit with a battery car and with a single Revolution Train Engineer base station. This base station actually has uh, sound so uh, we can see how their sounds work. If they're good we'll just leave these sounds in. And uh, I already have a train engineer in the A unit so I may just replace that with this unit uh, because there's a lot more ventilation than in the box car that I want to use. So we have the B unit, and these by the way are Army, this is for my wife's Army train. And we have the A unit, the FA unit, and we have our battery car. So let's get started on this. So it was my uh, latest intention to attempt to mount the receiver in here, however this has no setup for lights. However, this unit is too wide to go in here and allow this to set down, and if I turn it sideways it's still could cause a problem in there. So rather than worrying about that, I'm just going to put this unit back in the battery car and there'll be plenty of room for it. I can mount a speaker in the bottom and have a battery back here yet. So that's what we're going to do. So basically I remove all the electronics I set up in here a few days ago and those will be used in another little engine that we have here waiting for the workbench. Okay, disassembly time. I'll come back and show you this when it's an empty case. All right, we've done some rewiring here. The headlight has actually got a uh, bridge circuit in it, so it only turns on in the forward direction. So we have run wires for the lights here. They plug into this unit, which comes directly off the power from the previous cars and from the battery car. Basically, I just pulled the power leads out of each truck, hooked them into these clips, and wired them into the power lead coming from the trailing car. That will power the two trucks and the lights. We won't have any sound in this unit or the B unit, but we will in the battery car. Now with the battery car it's going to provide plenty of power for both engines even though there's four motors running here and we will be able to haul quite a load with it. So let's get this thing buttoned up and uh, take a look at the next car. Well our next project is going to be the B unit. This with the emblem on it appears to be the rear of the B unit where your blowers are and this will be the forward end. So we're going to get into this, wire up the two trucks so that we can connect power straight through. Okay let's get to it. So this is what the inside of one of the old aristocrat F units looks like. This of course was the FB. And all I've done is disconnected the wires that connected the power to the wheel sets and I connected them separately to a through cable that will go from the battery car up through this car carrying the lights. These are the lights. So it'll go from the battery car up through this truck through to the next truck and the lights that they have. They have two lights in here next to the dummy engine and then out to the front which will connect through to the A unit and of course here is our battery car. So once I get this put back together soldered up in place then we'll uh, put it out on the tracks for a test run. Oh and uh, hooking the wires up no matter how much you follow the circuitry there's always a chance you're going to get it wrong. 50-50 chance that I get this wired correctly I wired it backwards. It is now correct. So let's continue with this job. All right, so this will be our little uh, battery slash power car. We will be using this train engineer, Revolution train engineer, super base receiver. Now this thing should be able to handle 15 amps, so four motors should be just fine for it. We'll run the power output up to each of the two engines. Input, of course, will come from our uh, Makita battery that we'll have in the back here. Uh, we have your set unit to push button to lock, log, to log it in. And we have a speaker which we'll be using. And this should have sounds with it, so we'll see how good the sounds are. Okay. Now, one thing I'm going to do, this thing needs some ventilation. So I'm going to drill some ventilation holes in here. 
But to do that, I want to take the chassis off. So let's do that now. It goes like that. That is the forward end. And this is the this is the forward end. Yeah, okay. And with the Army train all connected, we take a look inside the battery car that's been completed. We have our train engineer base station, our speakers mounted in, and we have a Makita battery that can just be replaced and charged quickly. And then the roof just sets back in place. And we are ready to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let's go run some trains. Well, I hope you enjoyed that today. If you like that, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be safe, stay healthy. We'll see you down the rails and God bless.